So we've got a couple things to discuss today. Could Coffee Lake be better than even the just released Enthusiast line? And PCI Express 5.0? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Melt. I've been waiting for more benchmarks to discuss this, and there's been a few more that seem to have leaked out, so I figured it was time. Basically, people who decided to go ahead and grab the recently announced Core X series CPUs, specifically a 6 core or under, are not going to be happy if these leaks end up being true. Not only are we looking at an i3 performing almost on par with the i7-7700K, but now there are a few leaks that suggest something even a little crazier. This shows the almost certain at this point 6-core i7-8700K handily beating the Enthusiast line 6-core 7800X. You know, the ones that were just released? Yeah, but why is that such a big deal? Well, the 7800X will almost certainly be more expensive at $400 than the 8700K, which will probably be floating around the same price as the 7700K is currently priced at. Not only that, but the X299 motherboards will be far more expensive than the 8700Ks, thanks to all the features like the PCI Express lanes that the 7800X can't even utilize. Now, these are obviously very early benchmarks that aren't guaranteed, and extensive testing would need to be done with overclocks, etc., like the fact that it was compared to the Ryzen 1700, the lowest of the clocked Ryzen CPUs, unless overclocked. It's just a little crazy that the Enthusiast line might actually be outdone so quickly. Obviously, that doesn't include the higher core count Enthusiast chips, which it won't be that, but when it's core to core, this is not looking good for the early adopters. Next up is an interesting development in the PCI Express bus. For those who don't know, the PCI Express is a standard for a high-speed interconnect that helps your GPU, NVMe storage, as well as some others, talk to different parts of your PC. Currently, we're on a 3.0 iteration that was released all the way back in 2010. Why is it taking so long? Well, we honestly haven't needed more bandwidth. We still mostly don't, but because of the higher use of NVMe storage that utilizes the bus and multiple GPUs and things like artificial intelligence, there needed to be a new standard. In comes PCI Express 4.0 with a 64GB per second bandwidth or double the current 32GB per second bandwidth of PCI Express 3.0. PCIe SIG, the organization that handles the specifications of the PCI Express bus, has told Tom's Hardware that it will ratify the new specifications by the end of this year. Not only that, but IP vendors are already offering controllers that support it. But get this, they didn't stop there. PCIe SIG already plans to have PCI Express 5.0 ready by 2019, which doubles that 64 gigabyte per second transfer speeds of the yet released PCI Express 4.0. Basically, our PCIe buses are going to be getting a lot freer very soon. So while that does it for today's news, are you excited for PCI So while that does it for today's news, are you excited for PCI Express 5.0 or are you just happy to have 3.0? And what about Coffee Lake? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.